Hi, welcome back to my channel Physics 15 KSSM. We continue chapter 2 pressure on topic 2.1 pressure and liquids part 2. So I will continue the learning standard about communicate about the concept of pressure and liquids and solve problem involving pressure and liquids. We want to discuss about properties of pressure and liquids. In my previous uh, video, I have discussed about factors that affect pressure and liquids. And we also have discussed that pressure and liquids does not depend on area or shape eh, of a container. Okay, let's look at this one. A liquid in a container exert pressure because of its weight. Pressure in liquid acts in all directions. So this statement explains why pressure in liquids is a scalar quantity. Because no net direction of pressure when pressure acts in all directions. So all objects that totally immerse in liquid like this, pressure will act in all directions to the object. So you can see this uh, video, what you can uh, conclude uh, from this video. So from this video, you observe that there are three points where water will come up. The points are all at same depth. You can see the spurting distance of the water that coming out from the point are same. Same spurting distance showing that pressure at the point which is at same level are the same. So this one also shows that pressure acts in all direction. Act here, here and here. So example, the uh, diver, water exert more pressure on you than air because it is denser. So this one, we, we already discussed that pressure in liquid is due to weight of liquid that act uh, on certain points. So in this case of diving, uh, as you go deeper, the pressure increases. At 3,300 feet, the pressure of the water would collapse your lungs if you weren't wearing special deep sea diving equipment. You can see the pressure accent in all directions. So for the safety features, so the diver need to wear proper equipment. So that can prevent them from experiencing something really bad like collapse of lungs. So water spurting out of all three holes at the same level of plastic bottle has the same horizontal spurt distance. Okay? Points at same level have same pressure. Pressure at a point in liquid acts in all directions. So from this activity, we already proved that pressure at same level or same depth eh, has same pressure. And pressure at point in liquid acts in all directions. You can refer to activity 2.2 in your textbook. So this activity is to show that cross-sectional area and the shape of column do not affect pressure and liquids. Apparatus, liquid level apparatus, any shape, materials, water and food coloring. Instruction, place an empty liquid level apparatus on the horizontal surface of a table, shown here. Pour colored water into the apparatus until almost full. Observe the height of water level in each column. So you can put coloring so you can see clearly what happened to liquid. So you pour from here. So what happened to the liquid that gets into the container? You can see the shape all are different. Different size, different diameter. Okay. But finally, what we observe is the liquid will equalize itself. Then finally reach same level. Okay, so from here what we can say about the properties of liquid. Okay, let's look at the discussion. 
compare the height or water level in each column. Height or water level in each column are the same. Discuss whether pressure and liquid affected by cross-sectional area and shape. So you can see when the water level becomes same, even though the shape are different, meaning pressure in liquid does not depend on cross-sectional area and the shape of the column. Okay, When the liquid that poured at one point here suddenly uh, flows uh, to find its own level, so this one shows pressure in liquid is equal at all points at same level. Okay, So or we can say something like this. For same level of point in the same liquid, Pressure are the same. Okay. Now we look at some examples. Figure shows a YouTube filled with liquid X. This one. Then it is added with liquid Y, which does not mix with liquid X. This apparatus cannot be used to compare density for two immiscible liquids. Okay. So we cannot determine if the two liquid can mix together. We cannot use this method. So this method actually can be used to determine unknown density of liquid. Okay. So we use this concept as we discussed uh, before. For same level of points in the same liquid, pressure are the same. Now we look at uh, liquid pressure at point A, P1, is equal to what we have above point A. This length K1 of liquid. Okay, So pre liquid pressure at point A, P1, equals to K1 rho 1 G. This is coming from the formula of pressure and liquid, P equals to HOG, okay, where rho 1 is density of liquid X. Now we have another point, same level as A. We mark as B. You can see B is still in liquid X, even though at a borderline. Okay, so B still in liquid X. And same level with A. Pressure at B, P2, is due to what we have above liquid above point B is liquid Y, H2. Thus, pressure at B is equals to H2 rho 2 G, where rho 2 is density of liquid Y. Since Point A and B are at same level and both liquids are static. Pressure at point A equals to pressure at B, meaning P1 equals to P2. So H1 rho 1G equals to H2 rho 2G. Then we can cancel G. Therefore, we get H1 rho 1 equals to H2 rho 2. So by this uh, uh, relationship, we can use uh, this method to determine density of liquid Y. Let's say X is water. We know its density. The length or the height H1, we can measure using a ruler. H2 also can be measured using a ruler. Then we can substitute the value of H1, rho 1, H2. So we can find rho 2, meaning can be used to determine density of unknown liquid but there's a condition for this this is not suitable for two invincible liquids meaning if the liquids mix together so we cannot find the level okay we're not find eh? the point where to 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 assume that pressure a equals to pressure b okay the values of h1 and h2 can be me measured with a meter rule if density of x rho 1 is known, density of liquid y rho 2 can be calculated and vice versa. Okay, so this is the method. So you must understand this one eh? because uh, there will be calculation problems eh? involving this, this type of uh, situation. Okay, so let's 
So now we want to discuss about actual pressure. What is actual pressure? Just now we just discussed about pressure due to liquid. Liquid pressure. Pressure due to water. But when we talk about actual pressure, meaning the total pressure, if you look at uh, this YouTube, it's open to the surrounding. The air in the surrounding will exert atmospheric pressure. So when we talk about pressure at point A, if you look above point A, you can see this is a H1 centimeter, for example, centimeter of liquid. So this one will exert pressure due to liquid X. But at the surface of liquid X here, there is surrounding air which exert atmospheric pressure. Thus, the total pressure at A is equals to pressure due to liquid plus atmospheric pressure. So, when the question needs you to find the actual pressure or total pressure, you need to add the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so we can get this one. Eh? Total pressure at A equals to H1 rho 1 G plus P atmosphere. At PB, also same thing, we have H2 rho 2 G plus P atmosphere. Okay, uh, so it uh, depends on the question asked. Uh. Okay, if mentioned about liquid pressure or pressure due to liquid, meaning you just use the formula H rho G. But if the question asks about actual pressure or total pressure, then you need to add with atmospheric pressure. Okay, let's look at some uh, problem solving. Yeah? So you can find this example in the textbook. Okay, figure shows a fish at depth of 1.5 meter in an aquarium. Density of water in the aquarium is 1050 kilogram meter to the power negative 3 and atmospheric pressure is 100 kilopascal. Gravitational acceleration G equals to 9.81 meter second to the power negative 2. A, what is pressure experienced by the fish caused by the water around it? B, calculate the actual pressure acting on the fish. So look at diagram or the picture here. The fish is at depth of 1.5 meter. When you calculate using the formula H rho G, you just calculate pressure due to water. But if you want to find actual pressure, we need to add atmospheric pressure because there is atmospheric pressure at, uh, at the surface of water. Okay, so solution, you can list down all the information given. The depth H is 1.5 meter, density of aquarium water 1050, Gravitational acceleration G 9.81. Okay, so pressure due to water equals to H rho G. So this is answer for part A. So you just substitute H rho and G and make sure the value of H and rho are using SI unit. Okay, so you just substitute H 1.5 meter, density 1050 and G 9.81. Thus you get 15.45 kilopascal. I'm using prefix here. The answer actually is 15.45 times 10 to the power 3. So I convert to kilopascal. Okay, B, yeah, calculate actual pressure. So total pressure. So you just calculate like this. The pressure due to water, H rho G, plus atmospheric pressure. So this one we have calculated already yeah, for water. So 15.45 times 10 power 3 plus 100 times 10 power 3 because here is 100 kilo pascal. Huh? Kilo is 10 to the power 3. Okay, so you can just uh, simplify. So you get the final answer become 115.45 kilo pascal. So this one is the total pressure. So actual pressure actually is total pressure. Okay, look at example 2. This is a YouTube filled with water and olive oil. Density of water is 1000. Calculate density of olive oil. 
Okay, let's assume eh, density of olive oil is rho 2. Height of water column H1 is 15. Density of water rho 1, 1000. Height of olive oil column H2, 16.5 cm. So be careful eh, which liquid you want to put uh, H1 rho 1. Eh, which liquid you want to put uh, H2 rho 2. Okay. Okay. So we can assume these two points, same level, same liquid. Okay, so pressure at this point is equals to this point. So you can mark as A and B, for example. Thus pressure at A equals to pressure at B. So we get this relationship. H1 rho 1 equals to H2 rho 2. So we just substitute all the values. Okay, and then you get rho 2 equals to 909.1 kilogram meter to the power negative 3. So this is the method of uh, determine the unknown liquid uh, density. Okay. For this one, we don't know uh, the density of olive oil. Then we can uh, use this method to determine the density. So for this part, I will stop here. So um, to summarize what we have discussed today is about properties of liquid. So you must understand the properties of liquid such as pressure in liquid acts in all direction. Pressure in liquid does not depend on area or cross-sectional area and shape of a container. And also you must know the formula uh, to determine actual pressure and to solve problem uh, involving YouTube to determine unknown density okay so you can try on this uh, uh, more exercise on this so that you will understand better okay that's all bye